Okay, just an update on my fast. This is day two of an extended water fast. And I had started at the end of last year, basically right after Christmas I started a fast. The goal for this year is to fast for, to complete a water fast that's at least 41 days long. And now this is day two, it's very different than the previous three. So this is the fourth time I'm trying, and this is different than the previous three. Why is it different? Well, in the previous times on day two, I was, I felt lightheaded, I felt swelling in my head. Um, when I was drinking a lot of wet water, I would feel a swelling in my head. Today, I've drinking a lot of water, no swelling in my head, and which I believe is a positive sign. And also, I started tracking my urine output compared to my fluid intake. And today, I expelled more urine than I drank. And so, that's a good sign as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'll carry it on tomorrow. Just want to make note of that. But this time around, I am not experiencing any dizziness falling over and pressure in my head and the reason that is is because I believe that the kidney cleft imperial syndrome has, has resolved the burning sensation that I experienced when urinating and the cloudy urine and then the discharge in the urine was the resolution of some conflict in the kidney. So um, I hope that this time I'll be able to go 41 days. If not, if there's something else in the body that surfaces, well, then I'll learn from that and try again. Still got a lot of time in the, in the year. So I'm going to wrap up for the day. Basically, just wanted to make a note of that. So I, I'm aware of how this Fourth time is different than the previous three times when the body has changed based on the prior fast that I did. And tomorrow I should be entering the, the, the second phase of the fast. So according to the notes that I'm following from a doctor that has a lot of experience with fasting, the first two days are the hardest because you have the habit of eating. And so you feel hunger and whatnot, but I don't feel hunger this time because it's, as I said, it's the fourth time. So I haven't felt hunger, but the second time, the previous three times around, I was lightheaded. I felt pressure in my head. The other thing that changed, I don't know if it's contributing or not, is that this time around, I'm not drinking carbonated water. Whereas the previous times I was drinking carbonated water because that's what I could find. This time around, I'm drinking still mineral water. So that might contribute to it at some level. I don't know. I'm going to stick with the still mineral water. And so it's it's one day now, basically one day where my, my urine output meets the intake. So I hope to go second day and then maybe a third day. But if I go second day, I think that at that point, I don't really need to track it that much anymore. I can just assume that the body has gotten past that kidney collecting to real syndrome and is, uh, is healing and just like is one less thing to track. So we'll find out about that tomorrow. I'll post an update tomorrow if I have time. And I uh, just wanted to take note of this because I'm learning from this experience and that's why I'm taking these videos. It's just so that I have a, a record of what's going on. I also have an Excel spreadsheet because uh, if this works, then I want to document it and share it with people. As I said, eight and a half years, I'm trying to heal myself. And now it's finally, things are coming together. A lot of things are coming together. And it took some time. Basically, I had to educate myself. And um, I remember when I first heard about gym and new medicine, I couldn't, I couldn't go through the, go to the second day of the seminar because it was too radical. It was too different than everything that I had been led to believe as I was growing up. And so once you accepted the possibility 
and then educate yourself and you begin this path of you really have to start throwing away a lot of the stuff that you've learned and a lot of what is conventional medicine today and conventional belief and dogma and things of that nature. Most of it is unfounded. And basically that's what this eight and a half year experience was, was getting rid of all these lies, mass lies that people believe and finding the truth, cultivating the truth. And then once I determined to find the truth and seek first the truth and the truth shall set you free, basically. And the body is remarkable. It's very intelligently designed. And if you understand it, you can take care of it and you can live a very great life. Anyways, good night.